Originally funded via a Kickstarter campaign, the California-based company Cycleboard has grown to offer five models in 2019. The most capable one of them is the Rover stand-up scooter that is brought in motion by a 1250-watt motor, reaching 25 miles per hour speeds. The model is built around a lightweight frame, so it weighs just 79 pounds. With a full front suspension and fat 10-inch tires, it is designed for riding in mixed terrain conditions and is equally comfortable when riding in the city and off the paved streets. Plus, the Rover can travel up to 40 miles on a charge. Marketed specifically for e-scooter fleet companies, the new Impro is the first stand-up scooter from the Mountain View-based company Acton that previously specialized in manufacturing of electric skateboards. The model offers three miles of range on a charge and uses the company-developed swappable battery tech called the Top Swap. Action claims that Impro will be more durable than most models offered by competitors. It has built-in locking mechanism, front fork suspension for a smoother ride, and a two-stage braking system for increased riding safety. You must be familiar with Ninebots by Segway, since they are among the best-selling electric kick scooters on the market. The upcoming Max model is their new flagship, currently being funded through Indiegogo, attracting over $30 million worth of pre-orders. Among the Max's highlights is a long range of 40 miles, which is not overshadowed by a ridiculously high price tag. So from now on, any city commute will be within your reach. The comfort of riding is ensured by 10-inch pneumatic tires with an ingenious self-healing capability. The power, speed, and payload parameters of the new Ninebot are within the solid average, making it a great buy in 2020. Best known for their M1 electric skateboard, the California-based company Inboard now offers a foldable G1 glider e-scooter. The model has a practical 8.1-inch wide deck and large tires for more comfort on the road. With 750 watts of power and an installed 216-watt-hour battery, the glider can reach the 22-mile-per-hour top speed and last up to 12 miles on a charge. Unfortunately, in April 2019, Inboard announced that the glider will only be available for purchase by businesses and transportation companies. So the only way of riding one in the foreseeable future is renting one for a day or two. Boosted has already made a name for itself as the maker of premium skateboards, 
But with the rising popularity of scooters, the company decided to turn its attention to this market segment. Advertised as a Tesla of e-scooters, the new generation REV model is hitting the market in summer 2019. It uses only high quality materials, has sturdy deck and wide tires, all of which translate into a hefty weight of 46 pounds. Powered by two electric motors, one in each wheel, the two-wheeler can ride at 24 miles per hour speed and climb 25 degree hills. The REV also is expected to travel up to 22 miles on a charge. Designed to deliver a powerful performance, this two-wheeler is available in 500-watt single-motor or 1,000-watt dual-motor modifications. The latter is capable of speeding to 25 miles per hour on a paved road, taking the rider on 20 to 30-mile trips on a charge. It comes with a front and rear suspension, being quite capable on trails and bumpy roads, plus it has a rear disc brake for some real stopping power. Unfortunately, the wide wheel gets no digital instrumentation, with only LED lighting to indicate your battery charge and speed level. Though the model is built by the South Korean manufacturer Mercan, you can purchase it in the US through the brand's exclusive distributor, Fluid Free Ride. If startups that manufacture electric scooters thought that they will dominate the market forever without any competition from the big business, they were wrong. The mighty BMW Motorrad has entered the game and brought a new premium model to the market. The X2 City is a premium product with a premium price, but all in all, its technical parameters are rather ordinary. The rear wheel motor powers the scooter to ride at up to 15.5 miles per hour speed. Plus, the user can seemingly switch between five modes. Unfortunately, the X2 City is sold exclusively through Kettler Company in Germany, so international availability might be limited. The Dolly unquestionably steals the customer's choice award in the category of best e-scooters. Not only does it have a fair price to specs ratio, but also has had one of the highest ratings on Amazon for many years. The Scoot is built around a sturdy aluminum frame and rides on 8-inch honeycomb never-flat tires. Its battery is comprised of 30 premium LG cells that ensures 15 miles of range and can last for up to five years without showing significant degradation. Finally, the most recognizable feature of this commuter is a patented dolly and vertical self-standing capability, which effectively lets you transport it like a suitcase.
In 2019, this Singapore-based company is bringing their most powerful model, the E-Move Cruiser, to the United States. The model boasts 600-watt rear-wheel motor that has a peak output of 1,600 watts and is able to produce 25 miles per hour speed. The two-wheeler is also one of the longest-range models on the market, boasting truly impressive 50 to 62 miles of riding, depending on the terrain and rider weight. The manufacturer says that the cruiser can transport up to two people at once and is rated for the maximum load of 352 pounds. Plus, you can choose from four color options, classic white and black, or flashy green and orange.